Welcome back. Now, Scotland currently hold top spot when it comes to the Six Nations, but when it comes to whisky, could they be the underdogs? Well, we'll be the judges of that because whisky specialist Alan O'Donovan is with us now as we put the Irish and Scottish whiskies to the test. Good morning to you, Alan. Good morning, Alan. guys. How are we doing? And we've chatted to you before, Alan, about oh, yeah. the popularity of whiskey. It mm. really has taken off. Oh, it's uh, skyrocketing. As a nation, we box well above our weight, don't we? Ah, we do. Now, we have a small small little number in comparison to the Scotch in terms of distilleries, but... but we have such a great reputation worldwide, don't well, we? For drinking as well, I guess. Yeah. Well... <laughs> but our whiskies are having a very And for return. producing. And for producing, I must say. So we're say. going Scotland against Ireland today. What are we yes, starting with? Yes, in, in light of today's events, we're going to start with uh, a lovely Irish Irish single malt for you. yourself. This is a uh, Napog Castle. It's a 14-year-old single malt. And Napog translates as? It's uh, the Hill of Little Kisses. That's uh, very romantic. Just yes. after the, uh, the Valentine's. The Hill know. of Little Kisses. For the week that's in it. For the week that's in so it. So what should wow. we be getting here? So you have a bourbon cask Because I'm getting banana. And sherry. There's no banana in it, obviously. <laughs> Power <laughs> suggestion, you know. <laughs> For the shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the go, just pick There's no right or wrong answer, yeah. but you know. Am I getting vanilla? <laughs> Get a little hint of vanilla, definitely. Like bourbon casks, they give that vanilla notes. A little bit of tropical fruit comes through as well, actually. So you could be getting a bit of pineapple, a bit of banana, a bit of coconut coming through in it. That's um, oh. strong. Isn't it? It's strong stuff, but it's actually not. It, I would describe that as not being very harsh. It's no, it's, it's, it's very, very drink. mellow. Now, this guy won uh, Ireland's Best Whiskey a couple of years back in 2016 at the Irish Whiskey Awards. Oh, so really? He's definitely a, a heavy contender for, right. for today. Anyway. And what does, that what does that retail at? Uh, it's about the 74 right. euro mark. Okay, okay so it's yeah. more of the premium <clears throat> end. Yeah, that's the, you're talking top shelf stuff here. Do people, here. silly question, but do people drink this just straight? or do they Oh, they can this? do, yeah. I mean, there's no right or wrong way of drinking a whiskey, I say. As long as you're buying enough meat. <laughs> you, know, you know, ice, water, but ginger ale, cocktails. But some whiskey connoisseurs would, would, some of them would freak if you asked for it on the rocks. Or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you learn from being a barman for <clears throat> X number of years, yeah. never to serve it with something else all right. without being asked for it first. Okay. Like, oh, don't right. lash ice in without right. someone telling you. Good start for Ireland. What have the Scots got then? Yeah, no, okay, um, a, a beautiful little one um, that's kind Thank of you. recently reopened the distillery a couple of years ago in Thank 2017. You. This is the Glenallachie. Uh, now, this is from the Speyside region in Scotland. So these guys are kind of... The Speyside distilleries are renowned for their real bold, fruity flavours. A lot of sherry influence in this one. And these guys actually use two separate sherry casks as well. So you have a Pedro Jimenez and an Oloroso sherry going in, as well as a virgin oak cask. So there's a lot going on in this one. It's a very different taste, the it's first very, one. It's much sweeter, even the smell mm. is sweeter. It's very it's sugary, just... yeah. It's very almost chewy. Yeah. You know, there's a bit of a bite to it, but it has this lovely kind of... It's syrupy a, kind of flavour. That's very sweet. Well. That's one of the sweetest whiskies I've ever tasted. Mm. Very sweet. Oh, it's a stunning little one. Like, this <clears> would be like a, in, if your Instagrammer's flagship February is a thing, uh, with beers and spirits and stuff. Yeah. And this would be their uh, flagship bottle. And the, it comes the in a little bit cheaper as well, Alan. Fifty-one <clears throat> ninety-five. Yeah. So this guy's a, a little bit more affordable. And you, he, he's quite rare. Like we would be the the Celtic whiskey shop would be the distributors of Glenallachie in Ireland. So yeah. you kind of have to search around a little bit to find. You a, have to go a and bottle. find it. Yeah. You have to go to the okay. source. <clears> basically. We'll call it a draw, will we? We'll call it a draw. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So Absolutely. Ireland next. We've been very, very diplomatic. We, we, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we could change our anybody. tune here now. Yeah, we're, we're going we'll to Connemara. So. These guys, lovely, big, bold, fruity flavours, sweet flavours. These last two are a bit more smoky, which we've smoky, had dealings okay. with before. We yes. did, yeah. We've had smoky whiskey before. Yourself. Right. Um, now, this one is the Connemara 12. Very, very light in colour as well, like compared to the other two. So different. It's almost watery, isn't it? Almost see-through. Now, on the nose, you get a lovely peat smoke coming through, as well as that sweetness. It's not as, as harsh. On the nose, anyway. No, and much no. less sweet. Yeah, you get more of a kind of oaky, more kind of woody taste off And where's there. the oaky, woody taste coming from? Is oh, it well, the way yeah. it's It's been aged for 12 years in the bourbon barrel. In the barrel, So I had okay. time to pull out them kind of oaky, spicy wood flavours. But this has also been dried using peat as well. So you do get this kind of smoke. Earthy. Earthiness, is it? exactly, yeah. yeah. Very smoky, isn't it? Yeah, it's a beautiful smell, actually, isn't it? Yeah. This, I, I, I think this, this, is, this, this is one of my go-tos, I must say. <clears throat> is Absolutely it? stunning. And as a price point, where, where does it sit with the others? Around the 70 euro mark again. Yeah, it's... Okay. Um, again, you're talking a bit more top shelf. Like, they have the, the Connemara original, which would be around the 50, yeah. or less, actually, 40, 42 euro mark, whereas this guy is a bit more premium level. Um, like this one's going to decide it all, then. 
Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. So back this is Scotland. actually back to Scotland, but we don't have an age statement. So we've had 14, 12, 12, and this is an NAS or non-age statement whiskey. Um, and what does that mean now, Alan? As in they, they don't have an age on it. Now, whiskey has to be over three years of age minimum, but you can age it kind of indefinitely as long as you take care of it. This is roughly about a nine-year-old wow. whiskey. This is very smoky, isn't it? Mm. Now, this is from the island of Isla. <laughs> so that is like liquid smoke. Isn't oh. it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Wow. I haven't even tasted it yet. A bit more intense. I have a taste there. Yeah. That's very intense. Breakfast of champions. Wow. Definitely. <sighs> no, this one lingers. Like this is why we left this guy until last. Yeah, that stays there. Kind of trump the other ones if we started off with this fella. No, this guy sticks around on the palate a little wow. longer. It was quite light. Once you get past the smoke, it kind of calms itself down and you get a little wisp of smoke where you get that well, sweetness. But that smoke flavour does stay there. Oh, yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. It goes great it's with smoked very salmon. It's powerful, isn't it? It goes great with sausage rolls, you know, that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, if only we had either. <laughs> so. Alan, you're educating us, as always. Which one are we going? I think Scotland? Uh, Ireland? I be biased. I, yeah, let's go Ireland. We have yeah. to be. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go with the first Irish one. Yeah, I, first I'll Irish go with that one, too. I'll go with Connemara. Napoleon, is that Ireland. what you call it? Napole Castle. Oh. They've had 12 year old, 14, 16, <clears throat> 21. They've got quite a range, actually. They've a lovely little Ireland portfolio. Ireland wins, Alan. Well done, my friend. Thank Cheers, you, Alan. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much.